Unfortunately. One more thing. If you weren't afraid that Beatrice would make that page public, why did you hand over a third of a certain trust fund to her son? It seemed only fair. I think it seems very generous. No, no, not really. For all, Jimmy Lee is my son, too. I always take care of my own. So there was no antagonism between you and Beatrice? No, no, on the contrary. As a matter of fact, we were really quite fond of each other. How did Lila feel about that? Uh, why do you ask? I understand that she issued you with some form of ultimatum to the effect that it was either Beatrice or her. Well, yes, she did, but, uh, <laughs> good Lord, you know, I've been married to Lila far too long to pay any attention to those little outbursts. <laughs> no, usually they, you know, just blow right away. I admire your frankness. Well, I hope I can say the same for your uh, discretion. What do you mean? I just hope this little discussion of ours won't become public knowledge. I can't guarantee that. Why not? I'll do my best to keep it under wraps. But you've got to understand that uh, this is police business now, not just a friendly chat. I see. Well, uh, when do you think I might get a hold of that Bible page? I'm not sure you will. I don't understand. First, I have to establish correct ownership of it if I can. In the meantime, it stays police property and is considered evidence. Why? I'm proceeding as if this were a Homicide investigation. I see. And, uh, I'm your chief suspect? Jimmy Lee thinks you are. <sighs> no one is at home. He is. Edward? That's right. Great, all we have to do is figure out where. Be back inside. Right, is? without all that pain and grief. I hope that time comes for you soon. Thanks. I know everyone's saying this today, but... <sighs> Boy, this sounds familiar, but if there's anything I can ever do for you, anything at all... Thanks, I might need a shoulder. You've got it. Actually, he did. He wasn't uh, upset. Well, that's wonderful. Yes, I'm glad I told him. Well, now you two can get back to normal. I hope so. But he's just, he's still being very reserved with me. Well, only give him some time. Just, just act as if nothing happened and pretty soon so will he. I'll do that. Thanks for the advice. Sure. It's kind of nice to be able to give you some advice for a change. Listen, why don't you and Grant come over for dinner tonight? We'd love to. You might be able to help Robert and I get back to normal. Having friends over might be just what we need. Hello, Commissioner. But what are you doing here? Jimmy Lee invited me. In an official capacity? I'm not here to prosecute anyone, but uh, considering this may be a homicide, I thought I'd take Jimmy Lee up on his uh, invitation. For no other reason than to find out who's around. Can't hurt. 
Any leads yet? Well, nothing worth mentioning. But uh, I've got a hypothetical question for you. Shoot. Considering that there were various drugs found in Beatrice's system, suppose that each drug was by a separate individual. That's an interesting proposition. Consider also that each individual acted unbeknownst to the other. Now, given the fact that uh, a combination of all those drugs killed Beatrice, who would be the murderer? Well, it's a good question. It's a gray area, all right. Uh, you think something like that occurred here? It's just hypothetical. You did say that, didn't you? Well, a hypothetical answer is that the murderer would be the one who gave her the most lethal dose, I suppose. But to tell you the truth, I'd have to do some research on it. Why don't you do that just to humor me? I will. And in the meantime, take my advice and line up your suspects, each and every one of them. That's exactly what I'm doing. You don't seem to be too happy about it. Oh, excuse me, Commissioner. Um, your wife wanted me to tell you that the uh, service is starting. Yeah, better go in. I hope you don't mind an early dinner. Well, I certainly don't. Came right from the hospital. Uh, tell me, how was the funeral? Was it a nice service? I thought so. It was simple. Well, how's Jimmy Lee doing? Oh, not so well. Mm. Poor guy, he's really broken up. Did you get a chance to talk to him, Robert? Robert? Oh, uh, sorry. Well, what? Where is your mind today? On the case. That's the only thing I seem to think about of late. Look, why don't I go into the kitchen and grab some ice for, uh, some drinks for us? Terrific. Yeah, right good back. idea. Why don't we just make ourselves yeah. comfortable? Sit down. Uh, no, I'll get it. How nice it is to have Grant and see you over again. So I know they've had such difficulties, but uh, everything's all right now, of course, for all of us. And uh, it uh, makes me very happy to know that. It really does. It's so nice to see him again. What do you think? Actually, uh, I was looking for my pain pills. You seen them? No, no, I haven't. I thought they were in my bureau. How about in the bathroom? Not there. Maybe, uh, maybe the kitchen. What's wrong? Are you in, in pain? Well, I got a bit of a twinge up the back here. I must have pulled a muscle at work. I'm sure that they're in the kitchen. <laughs> there. You know, I was sure that I saw them in one of the cupboards. I had no idea the pain was so bad. Is, is, is it really that bad? Enough to warrant a pill. Maybe you left them at the office. I didn't take them there. I uh, didn't want to take the chance of losing them. Well, I'm sure they'll show up. How about the communications room? How did they get from the kitchen to in there? Now, now I'm sure that uh, I saw them in one of the cupboards. You sure? Positive. Well, do you think you can hold out until you find them? I guess I'll have to. If not... I'll have to call up Alan and get him to prescribe me another batch. Something I'd rather not do. Don't people misplace their medication all the time? Drug, Holly. I don't take this lightly. I don't understand why you're so distraught about losing your medicine. 
I just don't like the idea of prescription drugs falling into the wrong hands. That's a big leap, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Look what happened to Beatrice. Now, various different drugs were found in her system. Lord only knows how they got there. No. I'm not happy about prescription drugs being misplaced. But you're forgetting Beatrice was an invalid. I mean, she must have been taking medication of her own. None of her drugs killed her. In fact, none of those drugs were found in her system at all. Well, then whose? If I knew that, I'd have my murderer. Thank you.